Hello there everybody, Alex Bringley here with a little quick tip about the AX2000 AVCHD camcorder by Sony. Now I got this camcorder a little while back and ever since I got it I've got a lot of questions talking about connecting over to Max, connecting over to Final Cut Pro and or Express. Um, so I thought I might just demo this for you guys, show you how it all works. Because apparently on some forums it was saying um, it wasn't quite going to work or something. I also read this on the forum and I was just like, you know what, screw it, it'll probably work and obviously it does. So I'm just going to show you guys quickly how that works. So now I've got my camera connected over the um, just stock USB cable that kind of came with the camera. And I know that might sound weird to you guys using a USB cable on a camera. But because of the um, capture format um, AVCHD, it all well all, AV, all AVCHD camcorders use a USB cable instead of a Firewire. I'm not quite sure that why, it, um, why that is, but it's just the format. So that's how it works. Um, here I've got the camera um, selected with slot A. Um, there's slot B too. Um, all um, both of these work with little SD cards or Sony's Pro something. I'm not quite sure of the car type, but check their website if you guys have any questions about that. Um, also, you have to use the USB cable that ca that came with the camera. You can't like take the footage and take the card out and put it into a card reader. I've tried that; it doesn't quite work. So just always use the USB cable that came with the camera or a different one that you went out and bought from Best Buy or something. So here I've got my um, Final, Cut Pro, um, Final Cut Pro project open. I just need to come up here to File, Login Transfer, and then this window will pop open. And here I've got all my footage from my um, card A slot. Now here I've got this little um, piece of footage already imported, as we can see by the blue dot. 16 seconds, pretty short. I'm just going to um, re-import this just to show you guys how it all works. Just hit Add Selection to Q. Um, here we've got a little progress bar here. We can also pause that. If we want to, you know, go do something else, or we can resume it, and then once it's all finished, that's going to be gone, and it's over here into our little library. We can close out of this window. There it is. Bring it into um, timeline, and then we can play it. Another nice thing is you don't have to render it at all. You don't have to do anything fancy. Um, this is all done natively in Final Cut Pro or natively in Final Cut Express. You don't need any third-party applications to help import this. You just go boom, 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 and then you're done. Um, same thing with slot B. Exactly the same. Um, so yeah, that's that. If you guys have any further questions, leave those down below for me in the comment section. Or if you guys have also some cameras that you're wondering if um, they are or are not supported by Final Cut um, Apple systems with Final Cut, um, check their website. I'll put a little page down below in the description of a really neat um, page that Apple has of all the cameras that are supported by um, the Final Cut systems. So that's pretty neat. Also, to all my regular video, um, my regular viewers, I apologize. I haven't made any tutorials. Um, I finally got done with um, all the craziness about my um, show band stuff, which is more or less like marching band on um, on the field. And also, I'm sick, so I apologize for my voice. <laughs> but anyways, that's all that. More videos are coming up. Remember to subscribe if you guys like this video, and I will see you guys in the future. See ya.